Hello everyone. So I'm browsing an antique centre and I find this Rococo style mirror with this wooden frame that's been painted. So I notice these little tiny chips and I can see gold underneath. So I'm thinking maybe this is leafed or gold painted. So the coating that's on is uh, it's, it's quite a nice quality. It's not just been slapped on, possibly sprayed. So you can see it's got some age to it, but it's certainly not an antique. It's uh, it's a commercial made in Italy piece. You'll see it in a second. So it looks pretty old on the back there, made in Italy. So it's made for the export market. So taking the back off. You never know what you're going to find behind uh, the backs of picture frames and such. Just cardboard this time. So once I've removed these nails, I was surprised by the weight of the mirror. Just see in a sec, look how thick that is. Really is thick. Possibly a later edition, I think. You can see some of the layers, and this is what I spotted in the shop. So the paint just comes away. So this is a gel paint stripper. And I'm just going to do a little test area. So the method I'm going to use, I'm going to be applying the stripper to the frame but I'm not going to allow it to bubble. All I'm going to do is soften the layers. So I don't know what's underneath at this point. So I'm not leaving the gel stripper to stand too long. This is just a dry cotton ball, just checking for paint, gold paint underneath. So I'm removing the paint, just getting it off on that cloth there. So it's quite sticky. And there's no smell to it at all. This is just warm water with a bit of detergent in. So I'm going to neutralise it as I go along. I don't want the stripper to be too fierce, just in case that gold layer comes off. It's pretty surprising how easy it does remove. Difficult to tell if it's paint or leaf. Not entirely sure. So now I'm going to go ahead and start stripping it off. But I'm going to work in small sections so I don't lose track of how fast this strip is working but it works almost instantly and I'm going to remove it as I go along it comes off easily the funny thing was it dries really quick as well once you've taken it off it seems to turn back into paint now this is a wet cotton ball so again I'm neutralising it as I go along. Yeah, I should mention that it's water neutralised stripper. 
So cotton balls are perfect for this. It just grips all the paint and just lifts it straight away. Keep checking for paint coming off. Doesn't seem to be any. There is scratches on the gold, but I think that possibly was prepared, sanded before they put this paint on. So I'm wondering if this uh, company had some wooden frames in stock with the gold finish on and decided to try and update them a bit by spray painting them. There's no way of really telling but it seems that way to me. So we've got a nice gold finish there. So I'm happy now it's not lifting any gold off so I can crack on. Get it all moved off. It's very satisfying. Can you see there's some little scratches in the gold there? That seems to be where somebody sanded it down. but I like the look so all the paints off now the bulk of the paints off and now I've got this dusty um, residue with tiny bits of paint stuck in the detail in the leaf detail so with a soft chip brush I'm just going to apply a thin layer of gel all over the frame and as I'm going just working it in just to lift all the residue away and I'm not going to leave it on too long either so I'm going to use a um, china bristle art brush which is quite stiff just to poke and fettle out the little remnants this is just warm very soapy water and I'm going to froth with the sud brush try not to wet it too much just use froth And then again, cotton balls just lift off the bubbles and little remnants. There's going to be a few little bits of paint on there, especially around the detailed edges, but I quite like the look of that, so I'm not going to be repairing any of the gold detail either. Leave it exactly as it is. I think it's suffered enough at this point. I think to strip entirely the whole thing took probably two hours something like that so it's not too long so I'm going to get a clean batch of water and just give it a last wash over just with the suds just with the bubbles there just to make sure everything is neutralized and dab it away with the cotton buds so if you're going to do something like this yourself I would suggest you do a, a test area first I mean, you don't want to be doing this to an antique, there you go. That looks so much better. This was uh, £18, I think. 
I paid for this. It was worth every penny. A little before and after. It looks so much more dramatic. Okay, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, subscribe, like and share, and thank you very much for watching.